Hey, what's up guys? It's Phil here playing Animal Crossing's New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. In this video, I'll show you how you can find over 150,000 bells in one hour or less. If you want access to more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. The most lucrative bug to sell is the tarantula. And as you guessed it, we're going to be farming tarantulas. Each spider is worth about 8,000 bells. A full inventory of captured spiders will reward you with well over 150,000 bells, and it only takes a short while. However, keep in mind that this will only work while tarantulas are spawning in the game. So, as you can see, they will only spawn during a few months out of the year, and between 7pm and 4am. You'll want to have the metal shovel, metal axe, and an upgraded net. What you're about to do will utilize these tools abundantly, and I don't recommend using the flimsy tools. Also, you will need to have the ladder and pole vault. I have some videos linked in the description below, so check them out if you need help getting the ladder or the pole vault. Step number one is clear your inventory minus the needed tools. You're going to need as much space as possible to bring back the maximum amount of spiders. Step number two, go purchase an airline ticket for about 2,000 nook miles. You'll need to go to another island to make this work. Step three is once you've arrived on the island, you're going to start clearing out everything. And that means you're going to be chopping down trees, pulling the weeds, and the flowers. You'll also need to clear out any bugs or anything laying on the ground such as shells on the beach. I recommend gathering everything and moving it to one of the corners of the island. And then there you'll plant all the flowers and you'll drop all the items that you've collected. And for the trees, you'll want to chop them down, dig up the roots, and then put all the chopped wood in the corner as well. Be sure that after you've moved all the flowers, and planted them in the corner to pick the flower petals and drop them on the ground as well. Otherwise, you may have bugs spawning there, which is completely defeating the purpose. Step number four is just keep running laps around the island and keep clearing off all the bugs that you find. This includes any roaches or any beetles. Once you've cleared the map of all the bugs and all the trees and flowers and everything, then you've made it possible for the game to spawn in more bugs, resulting in a higher chance for spiders to spawn. Soon, you'll find yourself with lots of spiders to collect. And if you're having issues catching the spiders, then I've got a really quick tip for you. Simply hold down the A button to sneak up on the spider. Once he raises up, that's when you stop moving. Then, when he lowers back down, you just take another step. Continue to hold the A button though, and then continue this process until you get close enough to snag him. Step number five is not really a step, but just a reminder. You'll want to grind this part out for about an hour. And once you've filled your inventory, then you can head back home. And step number six is sell the bugs. Take your spiders back to Timmy at Nooks and Cranny and sell them all. If you want access to more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit the like button.